Hello, Cursling's Curse Lord Nick here. Um, taking a minute to uh, take it all in because it's finally here, Elden Ring. I can't tell you guys how excited I'm to be playing this on the channel. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne, uh, and you know Demon Souls Remastered. And just to let you guys know, you know I I played Demon Souls Remastered, Platinum that one. Play the heck out of Dark Souls 3, um, play Dark Souls Remastered, but unfortunately didn't get to finish that one due to some time constraints. Um, played Bloodborne like three times, was just love that one, um, and then have been highly, highly excited to play Elden Ring. And I have a bunch of people that also want to um, play co op in it, so I'm hoping to bring you know that into the Let's Play as well. So I'm really excited to be able to showcase Elden Ring. And with that, let's get into it. Alright, we gotta accept all the normal stuff. Let's keep try to get through that quick. <laughs> Don't wanna waste too much time when getting the game. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll probably end up playing online. I'm not worried about that, so we will let that go. Okay, well, we'll um, I'm going to go with the defaults for right now, and then I'll adjust, you know, as um, we get used to playing the game. So let's just go ahead and get it. next. Adjust the brightness until the image on the right is barely visible. Go the other way. I'm going to... Yeah, we'll go, like, a little bright. Okay. Camera, x-axis, y-axis. We'll leave that alone. And here we go. Ah, okay, the hardest part. <laughs> what class to play as? Let's see. Okay, so this is the Vagabond. Okay, select the base for creating your character. Uh, show status. Oh, okay, cool. So we can see like what level they start at and um, how many points they have already, you know, in essence. And I've been thinking about this the whole time, like, leading up to the game, because most of the times I play, like, a strength build. Um, I've always really wanted to, like, try a magic uh, build. So we might try that, or we might just go with the strength just to kind of warm up and then, you know, alter our stats accordingly. Uh, so let's see. Vagabond. Got, like, Vigor and Strength. Um... Warriors like Dexterity, Vigor and Strength for the Hero, the Bandit has Dexterity and Arcane, hmm. let's see, Astrologer, uh, get Intelligence and Mind, the Prophet, Faith is like their highest in mind, ooh, Samurai. <laughs> that looks really cool. Okay, uh, good dexterity. Kind of like looks pretty well balanced. The prisoner. Kind of trippy looking. 11, 11, 14, 14. Deck, he has like dexterity intelligence. Uh, the confessor. Um, good faith. Mind. And then the wretch. Is just straight out all tens. Um. I don't know why, but I'm liking the look of the bandit. And it has good dexterity, has arcane. Hmm. Like, I do. I think I'm like vagabond or bandit. If I want to do magic, I think I would need to go like astrologer. You know what? Let's try something new. Let's go with astrologer. Um, I'm guessing type A is male, type B is female? Let's go with male. Name. Okay. <laughs> so, thought about this for a while. And I love a lot of things. And I was trying to come up with a funny name. Or just something, um, you know, uh, to get a chuckle. So, I'm a huge fan of Mandalorian. Huge fan of Boba Fett. Huge fan of Harry Potter. Huge fan of Lord of the Rings. You know, all the, all the, all the big stuff. So, 
Um, I was thinking about this, and I was kind of thinking, like, oh, it'd be funny to do, like, a combination of two characters. And this is what I came up with. Mandolf. <laughs> half Mando, half Gandalf. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll uh, call this character Mandolf. Alright, so age. Uh, age only affects your appearance. Let's go mature. I'm in the middle. Not too young, not too old. Uh, origin, he's astrologer and a keepsake. Ah, uh, this is um, like your starting item. The past has been well and truly left behind. So, nothing. Um, crimson Amber Medallion. A medallion inlaid with Crimson Amber increases maximum HP. Not a bad choice. Lands Between Ruin. Uh, the gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between used to gain many runes. Mm -hmm. Golden seed washed ashore. Oh, golden seed washed ashore from the lands between said to reinforce sacred flasks. That could be good. Fanged imp ashes. The ashes of small diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. So is that one of the, I, that might be like one of those things you can summon? That might be cool since I'm playing as a, a mage. I might take that one. Crack pot. Three strange crack pots that somehow mend themselves. A container for certain thrown items. Stone's world key. Two stone keys shaped like swords. Breaks the seal on imp statues but can only be used once. I'm guessing we probably might come across those in our playthrough. Bewitching branch. Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Said to originate from the demigod Michaela. I hope I'm saying that right. Boiled prawn. Five pieces of broiled prawn. Boost physical damage negation. Severi's woe. The crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Attracts enemies aggression. Oh, we're already going to be getting all kinds of aggression. <laughs> so, I'm going to try... I'm curious about this fanged imp, imp ashes. So, let's take that one. Alright, choose base template. Warrior. True seeker. Aristocrat. Loner, Northerner, Seafarer, Reedlander, Draconian, Nightfolk, Newman. Hmm, that's kind of, I, I kind of like the look of the Nightfolk. Let's see, uh, Warrior is the most common face among the Tarnished. After all, they were all warriors once. The face of the True Seeker, uh, the face of an austere pilgrim. There are many roads to truth. Aristocrat, a regal face found among those who claim more noble blood in the lands between. Loner, face found among a proud and seclusive tribe of folk well versed in ancient legends and heresies alike. Northerner, a face found among the hardy people of the unforgiving north. Some say they're descended from giants. Seafarer, the face of one who wanders the seas in search of their home and lands between. Reedlander, a face from the faraway isolated land of reeds where blood is a familiar sight. Draconian, the stony face of the people of the ancient dragons among whom life is typically short. The feet, uh, night folk, the features of the, those known as night folk, few in number, they were said to bleed silver long ago, and Newman. The face of the Newman, supposed descendants of denizens of another world, long lived but seldom born. I think I, I'm kind of digging the night folk, just because it sounds kind of cool. Let's go with that. And detailed appearance. Age, full mature. We're going to go mature one or two. What we'll color is number one? We'll leave the skin alone. Uh, let's see. I don't want to get too much into this. I mean, he doesn't look too bad. Let's see what we can do with the hair, though. Um... I kind of got like short hair and a pohawk, but I don't see anything like, close to that. Maybe this one might be the closest. <laughs> Probably looks about like what I have. Or we could be funny, just go like. <laughs> Let's go for the the bowl cut. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go with this one. Hair color will leave alone. Luster. I'm not sure what that does, but.
Yeah, I'm not really 100% sure what the lesser is changing. Look at how shiny I am. Or like, uh... Eh, we'll just leave it at what it was. <laughs> That's kept by root darkness. I believe that one. Eyebrows. Why not? Let's stay white. Eyebrows. I, I'm like, I didn't even know if I had eyebrows. Uh, as I said, we don't want anything like too crazy, so let's just keep them. Keep them simple. Yeah, let's go to number two. Uh, match hair, match hair, match hair, match hair. Facial hair. Well, I do have a beard, so I'm thinking it's uh, not too crazy. I'd say we go with this one. Eyelashes. Let's check out the eyes. I kind of like how his eyes are, but let's check this. I like one of my favorite colors is green. Ooh, that kind of pops. Let's go. Ahead. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Poor skin loss or dark circles. I should make myself uh, look tired like I do in uh, every day. <laughs> I see. Sometimes I like to scroll through, check them out, see if there's anything that looks kind of interesting. Not really seeing anything that stands out. No, I don't want no eye patch. All right, let's do the body. We want like a gigantic head. How big can we make this head? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave it like where they like suggested that the cop was okay with that. I don't know, I kinda like kinda like where he's at. You know, he's not the buff. Hey, we're we're in a land that's trying to kill us all the time. I think we should be prepared. Let's go for it. Alright, yeah, let's save him the favorites. Okay, and then, um, back, rotate. We'll go back. Alright, so that's what we're gonna look like to start with. See, like, you put all that time into it, but, like, he's all covered up anyway. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and hit finish. Starting in with your character, I hope you guys like Mandoff, the warrior wizard. <laughs> hope I can remember that when we go forward. Alright, here we go. Demigods all 
claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long-lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othnir. The all knowing. All I can say is, wow, <laughs> like that was amazing, like, I can't wait. They should have like a read message and they should say, this is a message. <laughs> It's a don't give up. <laughs> Gonna perish a lot, but don't give up. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Tarnished Wizened Finger. Alright. And then just, uh, so R2 swings. So I wonder if that's like your heavy. R1 is like my magic. L1 is my shield. L2 is my parry. X actually jump. You can jump! That's it, we're hopping everywhere. We're just running around. We're gonna hop. Hop. Okay, circles roll. Let's see if we can roll some stuff. Where's the barrels? Bring on the barrels! No barrel made to seat me. Now to be like a great boss. It's just a barrel. Like you roll at it, thinking to break it, and it just turns into like this big boss fight. <laughs> I was like, there's a blood stain right by the door. I'm hitting touch blood stain, but I'm not seeing like that is cool. All right, let's go. Chapel of anticipation. The anticipation of getting my 
butt kicked is probably what's gonna happen. Alright, that door's locked. First we're just gonna kinda look around. See if there's anything to be seen. Still no enemy. There you see. No enemy ahead. <laughs> I don't I'm starting not to believe these. <laughs> Touching them, but I'm not seeing like anything. I'm just gonna look around here. I'm I'm assuming like it, everything leads you this way, so this is where we're probably gonna head down. Try jumping. No, I am not falling for that one. Why is it always I failed? Cause you jumped. Alright, just kind of going slow. Behold, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, oh, Elden Ring. Gorgeous view ahead. Behold, up. Oh. Let's see. No hidden path ahead, be wary. Be wary, a liar. Oh, I wonder if this one's going to have, uh, you know, some of them used to have their, like, hidden walls, like just take a swing at them and then um, open up a, a little path, you know, a little extra area. Okay, nothing over here. <laughs> Praise the stars. Ah, Tarnish, behold Elden Ring. <laughs> That's totally gonna be a boss fight. <laughs> Try finger. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish reading that one. Are you ready? Required ahead. <laughs> Praise the Elden Ring. Could this be a death? I'm gonna uh, just continue on because people are definitely enjoying. Offer a message, all the more good fortune. Somebody actually got up there. Oh, you can actually crouch, and that's cool. First off, well done. Still no item. <laughs> Still no item, but praise the detour. <laughs> All hail the detour. Try jumping. I'm not jumping. Like, oh, you can keep asking, but I'm not doing it. Try to see if there's like a run. I think. I don't think you can. Um, so that crouches, but doesn't like start a run or anything. Oh boy. Let's go check over here. Just uh, trying to see an off chance that there's... A lot of blood stains, but like I said, they're not um, showing anything in any way. I'm not seeing anything to pick up, so I think they just kind of want you to... Oh boy. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so pressing R3 um, does like target lock. Oh, Hannah. Alright, right, let's get our stamina back up. And this is a good thing I have to some distance here. Well, oh. nope. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, recharge. Now my blue bar has completely run out. So I guess I'm out of magic. Oh ouch. And there it is. <laughs> as soon as I went in.
worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. All right, and we are back. Flask of Crimson Tears. Flask of Cerulean Tears. I hope one of those is like for my magic. Um, as you guys saw, I uh, I perished. Um, you're gonna see that a lot. I'm not like the best at this. I mean, I've beaten the games, so oh, this is cool. Brave to honest. Take the plunge. Okay, you told me to. Of learning and remembrance. Recall the odds of war and your warrior's blood. I'm imagining this guy's really tired. Alright, let's go check this out real quick. Before we do that... I'm gonna stand up, dude. Aha, light. Seek Erd Tree. I hit this. Are you ready? Oh, can I open it? Okay, but first, oh, there's something up there. See, in this one, I see the shinies. I want the shinies. I felt like mad the magic is doing some really good um, damage against that first boss, um, but as soon as I needed to get in, I just yeah got wrecked immediately. I don't even I don't even exactly know what happened. I mean, he just like it was like three strikes and I was out, <laughs> but that is okay. I do want to jump, I really do want to jump. Here, let's go, let's just not jump, but because I don't know how much fall damage happens. Okay, using items as square, let's just kind of... Okay, so far so good. Those are just some candles. Praise the jumping. And let's go check it out. Hopefully we can get back up to the top. Okay, resting at a site of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status elements. It will also refill your sacred flask. However, most of the enemies you've defeated will be revived. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items and can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Alright, let's... Oh, okay, so touch grace. I guess we'll rest just for the sake of resting. Oh, that's cool. Memorize spells. With the memorize spells menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. And that's exactly what we'll be looking for. So memory slots so far two, empty zero. 
So, uh, fires a horizontal by any magic arc, fires magic projectiles. I wonder how you switch between the two. Uh, let's just leave for now. And then, okay, let's check out the HUD real quick. Oh, oh, okay, staff, sword if you hit uh, right on the directional pad. So if I hit up, that changes my magic. But as you can see, it um, with the sword equip, can't use magic. So, uh, staff equipped, got the magic back. So that's where I goofed. I probably should have switched to my sword fighting that guy. I probably should have used my shield. Like, see that little shield I got? <laughs> Said block. Yeah. Oh, no, they made me do that. Strike. Block. Strike. Okay. Stay calm. Oh, I don't like that already. I'm going to Tora. First off, good luck. This is Ted. Ted is the very first enemy we shall encounter. Ted is probably going to wreck me. But let's go say hi to Ted. Hi, Ted. I'm sorry, Ted. Oh, okay. That's it. We win. Game over. I become an Elden Lord. We can just go ahead and save and stop here. <laughs> Which is that easy. Okay. I'm just, sorry, I'm just kind of still getting used to the controls. And uh, one thing I hope to get better at. Uh, you can memorize sorceries and incantations at Sight the Grace. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Switch sorcery incantation by pressing up. Oh, well, good to know. We did figure that one out on our own. Use an armament if your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stamps will be broken. So L1 is the guard. Okay, I did that a little early, but let's try. I want to see if it parries. Come on, one more. One more time. Nope. Too much. Oh, well, I'm totally with that one. Alright. Let's see how... I'm, gonna, I'm curious to how much we get magic is. Wow. Okay, so yeah, magic's pretty powerful. You can avoid enemy attacks with a dodge roll or backstep. Both of these actions consume stamina. So hold, like, left in any direction plus circle is a dodge roll. Uh, circle, just circle by itself is a backstep. Let's try that real quick. Backstep, backstep, roll, 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 backstep. Alright, I think we got it, guys. And I'm probably going to roll into something that kills me. Which I did in the first boss fight. Jump. Archer ahead. Ooh. Archers are the worst. Where are ya? Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? I can do that too, kinda. Oh, hey, that's not good. Haha. I had a feeling that guy was a little tougher than uh, you probably would have thought. Can I, can I pick that? Oh. In every corner of the lands between you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for crafting items. Cool. I saw some over here. Behold. Item. Praise the tree! Alright, we want to go... Oh! <laughs> That guy might not have. Wielding armaments, each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between. Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength by 50%. Switch right hand armament, switch left hand armament, and then triangle plus L1, R1, wield with two hands. I don't think we're going to be uh, doing any two-handed stuff. I'm going to probably always have a shield and a staff or a sword so i'm not gonna go like crazy heavy oh is there or is that guy just trolling me already 
<laughs> I think everybody's trolling. Time for slashing. Be wary of pack. I guess in pack of multiple enemies, pack of dogs. Hello. Okay, I'll take that guy. Kind of, you know, hit him, back up, and break. we'll take him down. And now we're gonna break all the barrels just because that's what we're doing. Be wary of projectile weapon. All right. I hope they're wary of my projectile weapon. Oh, I see you. I see you over there. Oh, did not reach. Got him that time. Kind of feel like there's something that would probably end up down there anyway, so we'll just keep going. <laughs> skills. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP, so L2 is my skill. Um. Fanged imps. Okay, I can't use my imps yet. I wonder what the tears do. I feel like the, the crimson tears are health, and then like the cerulean tears are like my magic, but I don't want to use any of that stuff now. Sorry, I'm just like kind of playing through real quick. Time for crouching. Oop. Okay, square uses it. So I, can we sneak? Oh, crouching. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Alright. Crouching. Ooh, my back stab. That's cool. Alright, let's see. Try. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep hitting my... I'm using up all my... my flasks. Got it. Alright, let's go see what this one says. Ah. Uh, yeah. Teacher ahead. Well, stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy stance. Hold R2, charge attack. R2 while jumping for a jump attack. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, that actually... Ooh. Oh, jump attack. Oh, jump attack. I know, I was going to say the same thing. That was really cool. Is that a... Oh, <laughs> I was like, I couldn't tell if it was an enemy. Stakes America. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there's a Stake America near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Do I have to interact with it? No. Oh no. Here we go. Soldier of Godric. Hi. Do you know how I can get out of here? Guard counters. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. R2 immediately after blocking an attack is a guard counter. Okay. Alright, magic is like really hurting this guy a ton. Oh. Alright, let's let's try this. I was right. Really in tears are magic. I'm just gonna roll away from this guy into the magic. That's how you do it! After a lot of power call. I bet you anything 
If I would have used my sword, I probably would have died. <laughs> I keep pressing uh, in L3 because I want to run. Okay, I will. I do promise I will. Uh, I will try to be parried. I don't really think that, feel like that was a real boss. Time for grass. Strength. Very cool. Okay, so we're back to the starting area. So that means we, we're actually this is the way to go. It's through here. Is that a message or candles? Okay. Alright, before we do that, let's go pick up that item. Cooperative multiplayer. Using tarnished furled finger to write a golden summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally furled finger and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner. Oh, that's cool. So that means we can now do multiplayer. What is this? Do I have one of those? Is it yes. Nope, I don't have one. What's this? Okay, it looks like this is blocked. So maybe by using one of those stones world keys it lets me in that area. But let us rest up. And let's see if we can get out of here into the world and then we'll uh, end our first video right there. I want to try to get it about an hour in on the first time to show you guys as much as possible. Give you guys an idea if this is something you want to pick up for yourself. And, you know, not trying to like be like, oh, you guys got to go buy Elden Ring. But hopefully, you know, just from what I'm showing you, will, um, like, you know, for me, I watch other uh, YouTubers and games and I'm like, yeah, I definitely would really enjoy playing that or I need to save my money or, <laughs> you know, something. So. Okay, which way do I grab this lever here? Doesn't... I'm not seeing anything for... So I actually got to do it? Uh-oh. Anyway, to roll. <laughs> Just spin around us. Get dizzy. Ooh. I don't know if I... Still not sure if I believe these people. <laughs> Hidden path ahead, by the way, praise the message. <laughs> Behold, are you ready? Are you ready? I, I doubt it. I just get, do I get a chance to like redeem myself? Oh wow. Just give ourselves a second to take it all in. That is amazing. That dude riding that horse looks massive. <laughs> oh man. This is so cool. It looks so good. And uh just a reminder, I am playing on PS5. Um, I pretty much, uh, for a bulk of everything, will be playing uh, console, um, just so I can give you guys an idea of how it looks, feels. Ah. I'm going to be mean and you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see if they drop anything good. Feathers, okay. 
see a message over here. Let's go check this out. And there was a, it looked like there was a guy that would talk to you. Time for gorgeous view. Wow, look at that. Like, I'm like, right away, I'm just like, I want to go over there. I want to go check that out. Oh, look at that. That'd be so cool if you can go to those, like, pirate ships underwater. <laughs> can you imagine? I have no idea what this game has in store for us. I did everything I could to avoid um, watching, like, any thorough gameplays or anything like that, or the demo. So, everything I do is completely new to me. Um, hope it's new to you guys. And try to give you guys the full experience. Grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. Let's rest, because I think I need to refill everything. I really don't have anything still, so let's just recharge and go talk to this guy. The map. Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at steels along the road. You can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Awesome. What is this? Oh, I just... Was that, that guy's like pack of items and I just like booted it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, he's a very positive guy. <laughs> so let's go. Ch uh, let's just kind of check things out here. Okay. Summoning pools. In each area, you mind you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations, as co-op and hostile summoning science created bulls with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Oh, okay. Small golden effigy. Looks like there's some people fighting. Something down there. Oh, man. Try. <laughs> oh, I thought this was something else. No, try sorcerer. Okay. Let's crouch down. We are hiding. I don't want to get his attention just yet. Nope. No. Dang it. Alright. Let's go back and recharge. So one of the first things we're definitely going to want to do is try to uh, figure out how to get more of those um, magic blasts. Let me rest real quick. Let's see. Uh, add charge to flask. Uh, increase amount replenish by flask. Okay. Flask charges. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. With this menu, you can al allocate the number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum flasks. You can decide how many of those uses are for the HP re replenishing flask of Crimson Tears and how many are for the FP, eh, FP replenishing flask of Cerulean Tears. I'm going to go 2-2 two -two because I like magic. Use a sacred tier to increase them out. I don't know. I don't think I have any of that stuff yet. Let's see. Sword chest. What do I got? With this menu, you can place items that you, you're carrying into the chest for storage or take stored items out of the chest. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items, when you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. I think that's all we should do for the moment. Alright, let me do, do a time check real quick. I'll say we we uh, we go for this dude, but 
I don't want to fight him in the open. Um, I have a feeling he would tear us up, so I'm going to kind of circle around here. Oh, there's that, there's that thing I thought was the, the pack. I was just curious, uh, bones, okay. What's this? It's glowing, shiny, a rune fragment. Okay, let's get over here. This is about the only thing I know in the whole game, is that people have mentioned, like, the first big guy when you come out, um, to bring him over by the the church, which I'm assuming is this, or the, the steeple. So, I want to get over here. And that's about the only thing I know in the whole game. So, let's go grab this real quick. Golden room. I'm going to have to check these things out in a little bit. Okay. We're going to switch over to magic. I'm going to say, hey, do you know the directions? Like, oh, we're out, out. Nope. What did I do to you? Holy, holy! He hit hard. Yeah. Oh, oh. Alright, stand up. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got stabbed from behind, <laughs> and that's he did destroy the something fell. Ouch. <laughs> Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, it will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. Okay, so... I want my stuff back. That wasn't very nice. So we'll do the same thing. We're just going to go around this way. Yeah, you sheep are like, ha! You took one of us out, we took you out, man. That's our our shepherd. Oh, that's, that's so funny, they're rolling. <laughs> Rune fragment? You know what? Out of curiosity, let's pick these up, because here's another one. Another rune fragment. I wonder if these are going to be for, like, crafting something cool. All right. Hopefully, he doesn't see me. Okay, there he is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide. I say my luck, he's gonna see me and like whoop me. Okay, stand up real quick. Wait, where's my? Oh, it placed it over here, okay. Thank you, Beth. Thank you very much. Alright. Uh oh. Felt like. Let's see if I can hit him from here. Nope. I hit him from here? Nope. Get him from here. I think I tickled him. Oh, he's staring me down. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, come this way. I'm going to lure you into my trap. Oh no! Yeah. 
There we go. Take that. Take my nugget. Take So, I need to... I, I got him kind of thugged, which is kind of cheesy, but honestly, he can, he's gonna wreck me, I already know it. He's gonna block him with magic. He definitely is with magic. Holy! This guy, man. All right, well, we're going. Okay, let's go get our stuff back. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm gonna talk to the person in the chapel real quick. And then, and then we'll try finding this guy. Maybe, maybe we'll tackle him a little bit later when I get a little bit stronger. Because otherwise I'll probably spend like an hour just getting my, my butt kicked. Still curious what these green dragons see, so let's just pick them up. They keep respawning, so I'm gonna guess they're, you know, potentially like a crafting item or uh, something like along those lines. So, let's keep going. Now the question is, where's my... My, uh, what are they called? Um, runes? Now he not he kept hitting it, but I don't know if he actually knocked it down in the way. Alright. Got my room back. Yeah, you know let's see if we can uh touch grace. So that way maybe we can uh respawn here. Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. Could this be a death? Well, I've already had two. Strengthening armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armament. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith and make your armaments even stronger. Stronger. Could this be a god? Never. Hello. Let's talk to this guy. Tarnished. I can see it, but I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. Hey, what do you got? Let's see, shop menu. With the shop menu, you can spend runes to purchase various items. You can also sell items for runes. Each merchant stocks a different variety of items for purchase. Awesome. How many do I? I have 600 runes. Um, no, Flask of Wondrous Physic? Physic? What does it do though? Uh, wait, no, waypoint runes. No, imparting knowledge in, in brief. Is it just a no? Large leather shield. A torch. Nomadic warrior's cookbook. Hmm. Almost kind of. Let's see. Uh, telescope allows you to see far away things. Um, crafting kit. Uh, can I compare? Is the question. Well, I can't even buy any of that stuff, anyways. Probably want to start collecting, like this stuff. But you know what? I think. All right. So, I'm thinking. We pick up the telescope for sure. I do think I, I like uh, wouldn't mind that shield, um, but I want to see if I can um, compare. So just so I don't make a mistake, let's get that. Let's just buy that telescope really fast. Awesome. Can I sell anything? Uh, material used for crafting. Uh, golden rune used to gain a small number of runes. 
Oh, okay. I'm just gonna hang on to those for now. I but. am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. You know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. Goodbye. Nice to do business. All right, um, let's go ahead and uh, rest real quick. Just make sure everything's all nice and charged up. And then we'll leave. And out of curiosity, let's see, uh, like I'm system. Okay, you just, you know, quit game. So it looks like uh, I'm going to try to do this at um, the site of grace so that way whenever I stop and start we're always starting at like a, a, a spot you guys recognize so that way you can see everything I do in game and with that I'm going to conclude our first uh, video of our playthrough of Elden Ring and all I can say is this game is amazing I'm already having a blast the world looks so good and I can't wait to delve into more um yeah i i really just want to like keep going but i gotta um make sure <laughs> i do this like the right way and get all the stuff recorded um and i also do have um uh my brother and a couple friends that want to do co-op so i really want to show that off so thank you guys for everything you guys know what to do and i'll see you in the next video